so you shouldn't be like i don't want to go to ontario i don't want to go to saskatchewan i don't want to go to toronto the essence is that find your way in canada it is very important find your way inside of canada if you can find your way in there you are going to sort yourself canada is a land of opportunities it is not this oppression we are going to develop in 2080 2025 2035 no this is a land of opportunities find your way in there and enroll in a university as soon as you find your way the most difficult part is the visa if you get the visa to move in there move with the speed of light hello guys welcome back to our youtube channel and thank you so much for joining today guys this video is going to be an eye opener so please i want to plead with you like this video first for us press the like button and share to one person if you cannot share just like the video for me the reason i'm insisting that you should like this video is because youtube is going to inform other people that the video is good so that they can come and watch the video and in turn of course i will make something to feed all right so if you do that you are equally helping me in return to make more content to get energy and make more content thank you so much for understanding now remember i said before that this video is going to be an eye opener I know a lot of us we are broke from Africa and I want to leak a secret to you here that most people don't know all right for example I will use Canada as an example if you are broke from Africa let's assume that maybe you have 500k 1 million 1.52 million all right of course this money cannot carry you to Canada not so yes of course now instead of you chasing universities in Canada remember I'm talking about if you are broke instead of you chasing universities in canada you should not be chasing university because of what universities you will need to study for three years and again if you want to show proof of funds of course you need to show proof of funds for one year not so yes you need to show proof of funds for one year but university you will be studying for three years to get a bachelor's degree and two years to get a master's degree now you shouldn't be targeting universities if you want to study in canada as a broke person if you have 500k 1 million 1.52 million this is what you should be doing now locate a community college the reason i'm saying you should locate a community college i'm going to tell you guys something at the extreme end of this video that is very important if you do that thing you are going to get permanent residency in canada with no time all right if you study a one-year program let me go back to what i was saying i said it, this is a secret a lot of you don't know i know we are almost thirty thousand on this page very few people will see so please like the video for us my name is milton funkwaf i'm a cameroonian youtuber i'm equally a graduate and also doing something else which is private so guys locate a college in canada there are so many colleges in canada you can have certificate program for six months you can have uh, maybe programs for eight months but when sometimes you go to the college website you are going to see something indicated sometimes they may not say this is a one year or a two years program sometimes you will find uh, uh maybe 22 weeks 40 weeks 50 weeks 60 weeks all right no not 60 weeks you may find something like maybe because of course one year is how many weeks is it 53 weeks am i correct or not Put it in the comment section thank you so much so when you go to a comment to a college website let's assume that you are looking at maybe colleges in ontario or colleges in saskatchewan or colleges in toronto now it depends on you but i'm going to tell you something at the end of this video when you go to the college website you may not find um maybe the program stating that it's one year you may find maybe 44 weeks you may find 40 weeks you may find 50 weeks but at the end of the day it boils down to one year okay that is what you are going to find then those that are maybe two years uh program study program you are going to find it there and the tuition fees some will put and some will not put now remember i'm talking about if you are broke all right this is what you are going to do do not go to colleges that will give you two years program all right those colleges they will be expensive for you to pay for example you may be studying for long and you will need a lot of money to study this program so the reason i'm insisting that you shouldn't go for two years uh, programs in a community college is because you need a lot of time to hustle you are broke of course yes you are broke so you need more money to pay for two years than for one, paying for one year program okay now 
when you locate a college and they say 40 weeks 50 weeks maybe 60 weeks or one year this is the type of college you should be enrolling in as soon as you get admissions letter bam maybe you had money for just your application fee or whatever as soon as you get admissions letter bam what do you need next you just need proof of funds from somebody your sponsor your father your mother your sister or your brother or maybe your uncle or a company that is all you need and your application fee which i don't think is up to 200 dollars canadian dollars that is all you need and if you are lucky you are going to canada okay this is a secret i want to give you now this is for broke people let's assume you get admissions all right now what do you need you need just to look for the other documents and i think the other documents you will be needing just proof of funds is going to be a very big issue here you can just get somebody to sign that to give you his bank statement maybe his banking documents his pay slips or his business documents to prove that he is going to be a sponsor that is it all right remember i'm talking about if you don't have a lot of money to pay for a, a, a university you don't have maybe those huge amounts of money now when you find this person and the person is ready to give you this document maybe your mother is willing to give you his bank statement and all the other documents to support whatsoever your visa application now or maybe your sister or who, you are good to go not so the next thing now you need to do is to do what most colleges will ask you to pay just a deposit maybe five hundred dollars one thousand dollars now you go to that your one million that your 500k or maybe that your two million you remove this money from there and you pay then you meet this person to do this document for you the proof of funds that is the very the most important document for you to apply for. remember canadian visa you are not going to meet somebody face to face like this okay all you need to do is to fill everything online apply online and you wait that is all you need and one document again the motivation letter why are you applying to the college why did you choose the college why did you choose canada why did you choose the program that is different from what you studied before and things like this what are your future ambitions these are things that has to be on your motivation letter now when you already already gotten those documents all right the next thing now you need to do is to apply for your visa on the ircc website those of you who are saying that scammers are scamming you or whatsoever i don't want to talk too much about this you are the cause i always say that get someone to do your admissions for you if you cannot do it yourself then you get a laptop or sit down log into ircc website which is the government of canada website you sign in you create an account and you start uploading your documents at least you can read read from the portal it is very easy like that all right so when somebody gets an admissions to you you are good to go and you have somebody for proof of funds you are good the main advantage is the proof of funds or disadvantage now when you get your proof of funds you apply for this thing all right this visa and luckily and luckily you get the visa and you move to canada remember your program is one year now when you study that program for one year all you need in canada before it was eight months to apply for postgraduate work permit but now it is one year all you need is a one year program to apply for postgraduate work permit okay this is pure fact you can read again from the website if you have at least a study program or if you have studied for at least one year you can apply for a postgraduate work permit but remember there are a lot of colleges in canada that are not uh if you study there you may need to take another program somewhere before you can get the postgraduate work permit all right then there are equally other programs that uh, you may need to study more all right canada has provinces so before you move to canada know the province you are going to in some provinces you cannot use a one-year study permit and you, you you get a postgraduate work permit but you can work as a student and after school you can work you will be working legally of course but you cannot get a postgraduate work permit so what i usually encourage my students is because most of these colleges that um are uh, already uh, that if you finish from there you can get a postgraduate work permit they are sometimes difficult to go into the application fee sometimes is usually very heavy there are even free colleges in canada that you can apply to so what i usually do to them or tell them is apply for these colleges all right the target is to move in there the target is to move in there this is a land of opportunities the target is to move in there while you are in there studying you are working you are hustling 
another thing is if you are a male watching this video and you intend to move to canada make sure you get a driver's license this is a this is something a lot of you don't know this is something a lot of people will not tell you get a driver's license there are a lot of jobs you can do if you are a driver in canada all right now when you move in there all right when you finish this program you are already in there you are settling you can then switch the program to another uh college in another state then so that when you finish you get two years postgraduate work permit. for example in saskatchewan if you finish a one year study program in saskatchewan all right a lot of people don't know this thing if you finish a one year program in saskatchewan no 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 you can get the postgraduate work permit do you know why the reason is because saskatchewan alone has its own pipe lot program its own immigration pilot program or its own immigration pathway it is called what is it called is it uh the saskatchewan skilled worker something i can't remember but in the state of saskatchewan it is very easy to finish a college with one year and you go directly and they give you your post graduate work permit and before you know you are a canadian citizen they don't waste time this is a trick i'm telling you now so if you didn't know if nobody have told you take it from me today all right but take what i'm telling you and do more research don't go and quote me wrongly like i said if you can target saskatchewan for a college for one year study program do it remember for you to apply for uh, a, a visa or a study permit to canada you need to prove to the canadian government that you have at least ten thousand canadian dollars is it ten thousand or eleven thousand ten thousand canadian dollars for one year to spend so all you need is that proof of funds from that person that is given to you and the ten thousand in your in his or a bank account so in essence the person will be giving you um a bank statement showing at least twenty thousand, assuming that your tuition fee is ten thousand and you need ten thousand to spend for one year the person will be showing proof of funds for 20k all right but let's assume that maybe you are going for a three years program you will need to double this money to convince the officials to give you a visa so like i said this is for broke people and again understand that like I said, in Saskatchewan, they have their own personal, um, how do I put it, their own pilot, that particular province, Saskatchewan has an, a particular immigration pathway, I'm forgetting, all right? If you finish a one-year study program in there, it is easy for you to get a job, all right, or postgraduate work permit. Avoid bigger cities like maybe Quebec, Toronto, uh, Ontario. Of course, it is possible to go into schools in these cities and of course you get, but it will be difficult. So that is why I'm suggesting that target places like Saskatchewan, all right? You can try New Brunswick, but like I said, Saskatchewan, they have, I'm forgetting i'm trying to forget guys find out you are going to see what i'm telling you this is a secret i came to leak to you here today till we meet again more content is coming your way bye bye guys